everybody. It's Christine. It is day 13 of Best of 30 Days of Sketches. And today's sketch, let me show you, it says it's by Page Maps. And we have three photos. There are two by three on the sketch. I'm going to use a little bit bigger photo just because, frankly, I wanted mine a little bigger. <laughs> um, you'll see there's got some pattern papers. It's kind of made like a column design. Um, there's a dotted outside thing. I'm going to use washi tape. I'll show you. A little cluster here with some words. And then there's a tiny little thing down here I just noticed. So I have to make sure I get that on there. What I've got going on here, my pictures I'll show you are of my mama and my husband. We had done the little Titanic exhibit in Branson and she wanted one of them little pennies. You stick the penny in there and you run it through the little machine and it spits it out and it's got a little design on it. And the funny thing is my mama's name is also Penny. So I thought this was cute. You know, he's kind of helping her with a little machine and all that. And so that was cute. Now for the pattern papers, I have pulled out this Primus Santorini. It's from 2017. This is a beautiful collection and I have not used nearly enough of it. Um, I think because it comes in these kind of interesting shapes, right? So it's this A4. And if I'm honest, I don't know if it's meant for like cards or what. Um, there's a bunch of cut aparts though, which is kind of cool. It's a really beautiful collection. And then I had also picked up the I think I got this on one of those peachy cheap deals, if I'm truthfully. Um, but it has like these little three by fours and it has like four by six, you know, patterns in here. They're kind of shrunken down. So I'm not going to, well, I've got one of these I think pulled out, but I'm, I just wanted to show you that. But this is a beautiful collection. And then I have, of course, the embellishments that I don't know yet how I'm going to use these, although this is kind of cute. We were on vacation in Branson, so that's how that's kind of playing out. I'm going to get, I think, just a piece of white cardstock that I haven't pulled out yet. But these are the patterns I picked out. Now, this technically did not come from that collection. It came from a foundations set, but I like the wood grain a lot, and it's just a uh, scrap I had laying over there, so I'm going to use that. And then I've got these patterns here, and I'm thinking I'm going to use, well, I said that. Now i got this over here. Mm -mm -mm. I have to think about it. I may use something else. My idea was to cut one of these out for one of my pattern papers, so I'm going to look at that now because I pulled this out because what I decided to do is call it like Deep Sea Penny. <laughs> And I think that's kind of cute. And then I have all these little words. If you remember on the sketch, there's a bunch of words. And this is the two washi tapes I'm kind of contemplating here. I know for sure I'm going to use this one because that works. I need to see if this one will work. So let me get out my cardstock and get my patterns. Oh, this is the other pattern I've got. I could use one of these because it is kind of vintagey. So I may end up going with that instead of this. So if that's the case, I'll set this aside. Anyway, that's where I'm starting. So let me get that going and we'll come back soon. Well, y'all, this is going to be one of those layouts that go really, really fast, which maybe that's a good thing because it's middle of the month and we're about halfway through the 30 days uh, of sketches here. And so you may not have tons of time to watch all these videos. So this one's going to be pretty short. At this point, I have already trimmed down all the little pattern papers. Um, basically, I just made the pictures are two and three quarters wide and I trimmed the, I don't even know how much y'all, to be honest with you. I trimmed the, um, the length of them just a little bit, not by much, because I didn't. there wasn't just too much dead space, but I did do that. And so I've pasted all that down, and now I'm taking this washi tape here and making the little square from the sketch. I decided against the little black arrow one. I just thought the blue looked really cute. It's got those little variable circles on it, and it, I just liked it. So I left it alone as it was. Now, I have my little card here, this little three by four that I'm going to use as that little journal or title spot, <clears throat> rather. And I did decide I'm going to put this up on uh, foam tape. So you'll see me kind of piece this together here. I'm going to Frankenstein it a bit. I probably could have done this a little more efficiently, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like messing with it. So I get my little Frankenstein foam here, and that goes on top there. Um, I'm going to take the word penny. Now, see, technically that says deep sea baby, I think. I feel like that says deep sea baby with like a little squiggle underneath it. And I'm going to basically just cover the word baby with my penny letters. You can still see just a tiny bit through, you know, between the letters, but to me, it looks a little bit just kind of like decorative or something, whereas you know, I don't know that you can tell there's a word back there. It's a little, so I don't care. I'm just going to put the word penny over the top of it. I am going to have to use a little bit of Nouveau glue because I do set this down here, but it's not going to stay real good, so I'll have to, have to use me a little Nouveau glue in a minute, but I think that looks really cute, so it's deep sea penny, right? I think that's cute. Um, now I had pulled off all those words I showed them to you from a sticker sheet and I'm just going to kind of lay these down where I think they look, you know, they're kind of variable. They're different lengths, different colors, different, you know, just kind of builds out my little word cluster down there. So you'll see me move things around here just a little bit. 
Um, just, and again, trying to vary the color too, you know, where I have maybe a white one and then a blue one or pink letters or whatever. I'm just kind of, there's not, I'm not making sentences, I guess is my point. It's not really a rhyme or reason per se. It's really just more of a visual thing because again, you're going to even see me move it. And then also in a minute, I'm going to end up deciding to put foam underneath a couple of the phrases. And again, it's not anything, it's not like I'm picking a particular phrase for a particular reason. It's more just visual. Um, I have to be careful. This little white cardstock I have came out of a pack. I don't remember where I got it, to be honest. I feel like it was Amazon. And it's a little bit thin or something because every time I put stuff down and pick it up, it, it almost tears. Whereas my better quality cardstock, that doesn't happen. You know, you can move things around. This one, I had to be a little bit... In fact, actually, this is my second sheet because I had pasted my pictures down and they're a little bit crooked and I just went to pick it up to straighten it and the darn thing just tore it all up. So this is technically my second piece of cardstock. Um, here's where I am now picking, I, I was looking at it, and I'm like, okay, Christine, I've got my, I kind of have met the elements of the sketch, but it just really didn't look m enough to me, so I went ahead and got into the little chipboard embellishments over here, and I find this one that says Adventure, and it's kind of got a wood grain, uh, you know, pattern on it, or like a print to it underneath the word, and so I thought, that looks kind of cool over the top of that wood grain, so I'm going to end up putting that on top of that wood grain. And then I'm looking, I'm like, okay, what else can I add to these things? And I find these little puffy hearts. So I do pick out three little puffy hearts. I just put them underneath the, put them underneath Penny. And then I put one um, tiny one in each kind of the little word cluster areas. Um, that's where I noticed I had the, I hadn't pulled my sticky off on my adventure. I actually ended up having to use Nuvo glue on that as well. Because for whatever reason, it just did not stick. Um, so I'll end up using some Nuvo glue. But anyway, so I'm going to make my way through, pick out a puffy, couple puffy things. I ended up pulling this girl because I'm sitting here looking at this. And again, I've kind of met most of the elements of the sketch. I think the only thing I had done, and I actually never do do, is add that little piece on the very bottom, on the right bottom down there. I don't actually ever do that. Um, but I was looking at it. I go, okay, well, I can add a few little foam tapes up underneath these words here, at least to give it a little bit of interest. I don't know why this one, it's not a hard sketch, but for some reason, just the more is more, even though I know, even though I wanted more, I couldn't like come up with my idea for the more. <laughs> Um, although I do end up in a few little things in a second, you'll see, but so just real quickly, I'll tell you, so this little machine here, it's not that it's funny because my mother doesn't always want these little pennies. I don't know what made her decide this time she wanted a little penny, um, but she darn sure did. It was right outside the exit. You know, you put your 50 cents or whatever it is and then your little penny and then it squirts out your penny with a shape on it. And she just looks so cute. I just, I loved the, I think she, my husband had to go over there and help her because I don't know what was the deal. I didn't pay any attention to the machine, so I don't know how much trouble it was. But for whatever reason, she needed a little help. And I just thought they looked so cute. I don't really have tons of pictures with just me, my husband, and my mama. So I kind of love that I have those those two, those two pictures right there because it's just them two. And, you know, I just think that's awesome. So here's where I glued down the, uh, the little chipboard piece that says uh, adventure. And then I thought, you know what? These little letters are not going to stick either. Now those have a little hologram in them or like, um, I guess it's called holographic. It's like blue with like a holographic circle or cir yeah, I guess they're circles. And it kind of reminded me of water bubbles. So I really like this. It's a bit shiny and I don't know if it's, I don't have anything else shiny, so it makes them stick out, but I, I, I really kind of like it. <laughs> it makes the penny stand out, which I, that was kind of the point. So again, I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, okay, I need something else. I'm just feeling like you're still too naked. Um, I'm going to pull out this. I, I look at these two girls, right? There's these two puffy girls. I'm like, can I put these on the corner of one of these squares? And I do. I end up putting that one right there. I put him, I put her on the corner of that little square there. And I thought about putting something next to her. Um, like like a, I have vibes. I think vacation. I pull out and look at that. But then I was a little bit worried that was going to take away from the title over there. And I didn't really want that. So I put that back. Um, so this is when I now decide, you know what, I got, the, I remembered I had these little like water droplet looking things. They're from 49 and market. And so I pulled out a blue and I pulled out a pink and I ended up just siding on the pink. Um, I don't really know why exactly, except I knew my, some of them were going to go on those blue stripes and I wanted to just kind of a little bit of a contrast, I guess. So I put three little clusters of these little bubbles. Um, and I, I, I almost did the ones cause some of them have like little foam pieces underneath them to make them three dimensional. But I decided against it. <laughs> I thought they were a little too big, a little too bulky, um, and, and would have made too much of a statement, I guess, is the th thinking I had here. So I just put my three little clusters or my three little, um, I guess it's three little clusters of three little bubbles there. And then I decided to go ahead and journal a little bit. And again, that's not technically on the sketch. I think I think on the sketch, you really are supposed to journal above and below the title. But here I just added because the florals kind of, 
there's plenty of space, right? I just said basically my mama wanted one of those pennies. So I add that there. And that's all I'm going to do this layout. I don't even do sprinkles or anything. I thought about it, but nah, I decided not to. I think this turned out cute. Um, you guys check out the playlist below. Uh, everybody's making their layouts. We're making our way through the month. We're not quite halfway there, but almost. So we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Talk soon. Bye-bye.